Now we're going to look at the city features of malignant external otitis external malignant otitis external. So this is the CT scan of uh, the axial CT scan of the temporal bone. This is the mastoid uh, ash cells. These are supposed to look much uh, with much lower attenuation because they are normally filled with uh, air. In this picture, they are filled with they appear opaque because they are filled with uh, inflammatory fluid. And uh, we can see the erosion here. So there is bony erosion and uh, there is opacity in the mastoid air cells. Now next uh, CT scan. This is the same temporal bone at the level of the external auditory meatus, the external auditory meatus, and uh, it is supposed to be, you know, of low attenuation, depicting the presence of air in the external auditory meatus, but here it is filled with uh, a mass. So here is a soft tissue mass and uh, filling the external auditory canal and uh, this is the temporal bone mastoid process again we can see the opacity okay so this condition called the malignant otitis externa is seen in uh, elderly diabetics and uh, it is caused by it is actually a osteomyelitis of the temporal lateral part of the petrous temporal bone and uh, it is caused by pseudomonas it can cause facial palsy and uh, if untreated can lead to death so it, ha it has a high mortality rate in this group of people and so it it should be so diagnosed rightly to so that appropriate treatment can be initiated as soon as possible.